Got the gate operator stand uh, level. Front to back, back to front, left to right, and uh, just have it tacked up there. So now I'll run the gate. Open and closed, just to confirm that we don't hit our stand. And you can see we got a little bit of bow because you got an inch and a half there. And uh, we got some spots over here that are half inch right there so um, that's why you double want to double check your clearances and make sure that you got plenty of room and then it comes back out to about an inch and a quarter right there uh, so that is really good I like the way that that turned out uh, it looks clean so now we're gonna do uh, three welds we're gonna do a bead all the way from the uh, top to the bottom left to right and then top to the bottom on the back side and then we'll put an anchor in it and that'll make this thing uh, um, very stable. I painted the chain brackets in advance, galvanized. That way when I go to paint the gate, there's not as much overspray because I'm just trying to uh, cover up the welds. So we'll let that dry and then uh, we're mounting the gate operator now. Then we will uh, we'll mount those brackets. I've got the holes drilled out for the two half inch anchors I'm about to put in. And I've got it blown out, so we're ready to go there. I've got everything uh, welded down the side, back there. I'll go ahead and knock these in, put the gate operator on, um, and get it lined up, tack weld it on there, then tack weld the chain brackets. Got the two anchors in there. They went in okay. I probably could have gone a half inch deeper, but but that's okay. There's good concrete under there, so it fit really well. Um, and that's it. So I'll put the gate operator on and uh, chain brackets.